Good morning, friends. It's Ms. Amalia from the Trenton Library. It's so good to see you. I know it's been a while, and we had a great time having our special guests do their story times. I hope you got a chance to see them. We really enjoyed having them visit our library virtually. <laughs> They're on our Facebook page, as this will be, too. Um, so before we begin, I have so much exciting, fun things to talk about today, so I may go a little long, because we're going to talk about a letter that's perfect in practically every way. The letter P. There are so many cool things that start with the letter P. There are people who have names that start with the letter P or the P, the P or P sound. Like, do you have a friend maybe named Peter? Or do you know a friend named Peter? Maybe a friend named Penelope or Penny? Um, let's see, another really cool name that starts with the letter P. Paul? Um, let me think of another one. I bet you know a few, like Pablo. Let's see, how about another name that you can think of? If you know one, I would love to hear it. Oh, that is a fantastic name. I love it. And there's so many other cool things that start with the letter P. I um, perhaps something in the box of mystery that we have here. Let's find out. Hmm, what could be there? Let's see. Mystery, mystery, what can it be? I wonder if you already guessed what could be in here. How about a pig? How about a pair of pigs? Do you think I have a pair of pigs in here? A pair of pig pigs? Oh, something else is popping out. Ah. <laughs> I have a pair of pink pigs. Puppets. Oh my gosh, so much fun. What would they say? What do you think? This one? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, she almost fell over. This one's name is Penelope. Say hello, Penelope. This one's name is Peter. Say hello, Peter. They are a pair of pink pigs. But you know what's also really cool about this pair of pink pigs? They are also puppets. <laughs> that sound is so fun to make. Can you make that one with me? Ready? So silly. <laughs> so, what else could I have in this box of mystery, Penelope? Shall we find out? Let's see. Hmm. Oh my, it's big. It makes a sound. It likes to eat bamboo. Hmm. What do you think it could be? I think you could be right. <laughs> no, Penelope. It's not a platypus. Oh, you know what it is? It's a panda bear! And this panda bear makes a growly sound. Can you make a growl sound with me? Pandas are notoriously sleepy, so, but still, it's a bear. And bears make sounds like I think our friend probably wants to go take a nap again. What do you say? So, yeah. so we're gonna put our friend back in here and see if there's something else in this box of mystery that I have. Well, let's say you were in a race, or let's say you got first place, or second, or third, or fourth, or fifth, or sixth, or seventh, or eighth, third place. You might get a prize like this. It's a medal. See? Very cool. Now, we're going to put this back in here because there's something else that makes a sound in this box. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, it does make a sound. What sound could it be? Rhythm sticks. Oh, I'll put my box down as my friends are napping in there. Rhythm sticks are a percussion instrument and percussion is, is one sound of one thing hitting another. Percussion. And I wonder if I can use my percussion instrument in the song that we could do together. You see, I want to think about a farm and a farm that has, only has animals that start with the letter P. So we could have our friend the pig. We could have our friend the penguin. Let's see if I can grab the penguin. Now, penguins do make a sound. They seem very silent, but they're not. They make a sound that's kind of hard for me to duplicate. So I'm gonna share, a, perhaps what we could do instead is we could waddle, 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 waddle like a penguin. I would suggest try looking up that sound because it sounds really cool. Um, so 
We're gonna put the penguin, we're gonna make him waddle. We're gonna have the pig make him snort. <laughs> I can't stop making that sound. <laughs> and perhaps we will also have a peacock. Now, I've gone to the zoo and I've seen peacocks and I've also heard peacocks and they sound like wah, wah. A little bit more shrill, but wah, wah. So you can make that sound. Or if you notice, peacocks have a beautiful tail, like so. And if you'd like to, you can shake your tail feathers like that. Shake your tail feathers. And one last one. Oh goodness, I don't know how to do this one. But maybe I'll share it with you later. This one's a platypus. And platypuses are mammals. And they have the bill of a duck, but they are also mammals, which means that they have fur, but they also have eggs. They're very confusing. They live in Australia. And they're really cool if you ever get a chance to see a picture of one. Anyway, I'm kind of going off, off topic here a bit. So, because I have so many things that say the letter B that are so cool. How about instead, old McDonald could have a poodle on his farm. And what would a poodle sound like? That's exactly right. A woof, woof. If you want a little tiny poodle, you go woof, woof. Make him any kind of size you want. So what we're gonna sing is Old MacDonald Had a Farm and I'm gonna use my percussion instruments or you could use your lap if you have, don't have percussion instruments. That's okay too. Laps are great for clapping like this or you can clap with your hands, but I'm gonna use these. So ready? We're gonna start with the pig. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With a here and a <laughs> there, here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good, give yourself a round of applause. How about we move on to our penguin? Remember, we're gonna waddle like a penguin. You can stand up while you're doing it. I'm gonna sit down while I'm doing it. So, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, he had a penguin, E-I-E-I-O. With a waddle waddle here and a waddle waddle there. Here a waddle, there a waddle, everywhere a waddle waddle. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good. Okay, so we have our next contestant on our farm. Our farm is gonna have peacocks. Now remember the sound of the peacock is wah, wah. So fun. Let's begin. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a peacock, E-I-E-I-O. The wah here and a wah there, here a wah, there a wah, everywhere a wah, wah. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Did you shake your tail feathers too? <laughs> one last one and remember I couldn't remember what didn't know what a platypus sounded like but I do know what a poodle sounds like so let's do the poodle on old McDonald's farm ready old McDonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on this farm he had a poodle e-i-e-i-o with a woof woof here and a woof woof there here a woof there a woof everywhere a woof woof old McDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O. Oh, you were splendid. You were perfectly perfect in every possible way. Give yourself another round of applause. Fantastic. Our next thing to do today is a story I would love to share with you. It is a story about a pig and asking the question, is that wise pig? It is written by Jan Thomas and illustrated by Jan Thomas, who I think is hilarious. So if you ever get a chance to stop by the library to check some books out, see if you can get a copy of this or any other book by Jan Thomas. I think it's hilarious. So let us begin. Is that wise pig? I see a mouse and I see a cow, not a pig. Who wants to help me make soup? I do. I do. Here is one onion. Here are two cabbages, says the cow. And here are three umbrellas. For soup. Three umbrellas? In the soup? 
That's the same question I have. Do you have that question too? Possibly. Is that wise pig? Well, there goes the umbrellas in the zoo. Oh, I guess not, says the pig. Now here are four tomatoes. Here are five potatoes. And here are what do you think he's going to put in next? Oh, could be. Six galoshes. Six galoshes? In the soup? Oh my. It's a big pot. Has to be a big pot for all that. Is that wise, pig? Can you ask? Can you add that question too? Is that wise, pig? Oh, I guess not. That's a lot of galoshes. Now, here are seven green beans. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here are eight Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. They're really good, especially if you roast them. And here are, what is this pig gonna do next? Nine carrots. Pretty wise, huh? I was not expecting that. <laughs> yes, says the mouse. And, uh-oh. What could it be? I asked 10 hungry friends to join us. Was that wise, pig? Well, if it's soup, you just add water. You have plenty for everybody, I would think. All right, what do you think? Was that wise, babe? Uh oh. Better use these. Oh my goodness, look at these pigs. They both got spoons. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at what happened when all the pigs decided to have soup. The umbrellas and galoshes were pretty wise, pig. Thanks, cow. There's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? What, what, what could be missing? <laughs> ah, me! <laughs> Decide to join you with the fun. Pizza. Pizza. And that's the end of the story of Is That Wise Pig by Jan Thomas. Thank you for joining us today with your beautiful beautiful faces i'm so glad to see you again and i hope to see you again next week this completes our perfectly perfect letter p story time um before we finish everything off though i would love to sing our goodbye song if i could see your beautiful hands high in the sky perfect we're gonna do twinkle twinkle little star so let's get our fingers twinkling wonderful twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Thank you again, friends, for joining me today. And I hope you have a perfectly perfect day in every possible way.